Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can connect a domain inside BuildRaw and create unlimited subdomains. Now if you don't know what BuildRaw is, it's basically like ClickFunnels. So you can create sales funnels, you have an email marketing software inside them. So as you can see now inside my screen, um, you go here to Builders and you can create lots and lots of kinds of uh, sales funnels, websites, and before I show you how you can connect a domain from Namecheap or GoDaddy, for but in this instance, I'm using Namecheap to any of your BuildRaw sales funnels. I'm going to show you where you can get your sales funnels. And if you don't know what BuildRaw is, I'm going to show you an a short overview of what it is. So you can build multiple types of sales funnels and websites. You can build drag and drop pixel perfect ones. As you can see here, I'm inside the local businesses sales funnels. Um, you can find real estate funnels, so if you're a real estate um, dealer, then you can use this funnel to attract clients. Um, if you have a local gym, a small local gym business that uh, you want to promote to other people, you can use this funnel. All right. Next, they have an, the mailing boss autoresponder. So this is basically their version of an email autoresponder. Now the best thing about Mailing Boss is they offer an unlimited license. I'm not sure if it's going to go on forever, but if you join now, it's still going to be there. So basically, you don't have to pay monthly recurring fees. You just pay $50 once, and then you're set for life. You don't ever need to pay any monthly recurring fees like using GetResponse or Aweber. So the more lists you have, the more subscribers you have, you're going to have to spend more and more. And that is definitely something that nobody wants, right? Um, you can create videos, you can you can also create Android and iOS apps. Um, you can sell maybe documents inside your marketplace. And if you join the Builder of Business, business uh, plan, uh, you get access to all of these. So you can also promote Builder Raw as an affiliate. So instead of uh, you having your own business already and creating sales funnels, maybe you're doing CPA marketing, affiliate marketing with ClickBank, you can also promote this platform itself and earn monthly recurring commissions. So 100% commissions from your first tier clients and then 30% commissions from your first tier and second tier clients every single month. So down below I have a link if you're interested to join Build Our Business and I'll also guide you uh, how you can promote it. I have a specific training for it. But if you're not interested in that, if you're interested in Build Our Loan, I also have another link for a 7 day free trial down in the description below. Alright, so looking at the sales funnels, um, I've already opened it up in uh, new tabs. So this is an example of a uh, fitness funnel. So if you're promoting a fitness program or if you're yeah, promoting a, a fitness program from Clickbank for instance, you can use this. If you have a local gym business that you want to attract clients, you can use the sales funnel to market to them. And then if you're a real estate developer, a real estate dealer, you're looking to find uh, clients, then you could also use this. Uh, you see a free evaluation, you could put your video over here. You can create a simple YouTube video, um, testimonials at the bottom. If you have a local uh, barber shop, you can use the sales funnel um, to attract people to come. And also you can maybe upsell them with products of your own. Now, without wasting any more time, so now let's get into the video. Okay, first I'm gonna I'm gonna select a few sales funnels, one to connect my domain and another to connect us my subdomain. So um, let's choose sales funnels, and as you can see here, you have lots and lots of options to choose from: uh, free book plus shipping funnel, a webinar funnel. Um, a JVZoo funnel. Okay, let's use the use these two. JVZoo funnel for the domain and lead magnet funnel for the subdomain. Right. So this one is for the first one, and also second one. <coughs> All right. So this is the JVZoo funnel. So I'm going to use this funnel to connect my domain. Right. So if you want to promote any JVZoo products. This is one of the perfect funnels to do so. You can place pictures of your products inside here. Uh, you can put testimonials, videos, and everything. 
All right. So first, you need to save your funnel, so that after that you can connect your domain. So you go here and let's say um, Davizu funnel, and then you click send and save it. All right. So for the subdomain, uh, let's use this lead magnet funnel. So if you don't know what a lead magnet is, it's basically a free a free product, uh, something that's free that you give to someone in exchange for their email address. So maybe you give a free um, 10 tips on eating healthily in 2018 and then they give you email address and then you can email market to them in the future. Alright, so for this one, let's save it as member jvzu. Alright, then you click send. All right, so now we save both of the funnels. First, uh, the JBZoo funnel to connect our domain. And the second funnel, the member JBZoo, which is actually the lead magnet funnel to connect our subdomain. All right, so I'm going to use Namecheap to get all of my domains. You could use GoDaddy, Bluehost, but in this example, I'm going to use Namecheap. The underlying principles are basically the same. So you go inside your Namecheap account and then um, you purchase um, a domain so I will also have a link down below if you want to purchase a domain from Namecheap right so here you can see a list of my domains and when you find one that you want so in this example I'm going to use this one it might not make sense wildlife next but I'm just going to show you how you can connect it to your build draw funnels right so you click on manage and then you're going to reach this page right here right so you only need to configure one thing which is the name servers all right so go back to my sites and then for this one we're going to connect our domain click on this connect domain uh, wildlifenext.com okay so this one's the important part where do you want your website published now you have lots of regions to choose from now uh, these are individual regions but I recommend that you use CDN all regions because even though they're going to market to only one specific place it's best to have it at all regions so you cover all of the places and there's also another reason why so let's say you want to connect it to the North America um, you want to click save okay so you have to change the name servers from name inside Namecheap to point to your build draw funnel and to do that you're gonna have to use both of these ns1.l4dns.com and ns 2 l 4 dnscom so you're gonna have to configure ns1 and ns2 this combination but if you want to connect CDN all regions it's different. It's not going to be NS1 and NS2 anymore. It's going to be NS3 and NS4. So I reached out to Builderall, and this is one of my uh, tickets that I uh, raised an issue to them and asked them about this. Um, because previously I only connected it to North America, but then I wanted to change it to CDN all regions. So I thought that I could. Uh, connect all four of them so ns1 ns2 ns3 and ns4 but as, as it turns out i was wrong um they said okay it's the um, the picture is very small right now so i screenshotted them okay so this is what i asked them Ch i changed the region of my domain pixelnextofficial.com from america north america to cd and all regions and then okay for the name servers I use NS1 and NS2 because I was in North America. I set it to North America. And then I also wanted to use CDN. So I asked them if I could connect all four of them. And this was their reply. You cannot have four name servers connected to one domain, only two maximum. So you can only use the NS1, NS2 combination or the NS3 and NS4 combination only. You cannot use all four of them at the same time. So either NS1 and NS2 for regional domains, so for the individual regions, or NS3 and NS4 
for global regions, so CDN all regions, depending on how and where you want to publish the site. So as I said, it's best to have uh, it in a CDN all regions because you don't know in the future you might want to um, market your funnel to other places as well. So if you want to open up a ticket, it's very easy. Just go down here, support, and then you go down here, other problems. Uh, choose your category, um, subject, subject line, and also the message. Right, so get, let's get back to connecting the domain. So CD on all regions, save. And remember, this is what you want. So you go back to your domain list uh, inside after you clicked on manage and then you go down to name server. So I'm just going to paste it over here. Uh, NS3, you put it. Okay, first you change the name servers to custom DNS. Name server 1, this one. NS3, name server 2, NS4, and then click on this right button. It will save. Uh, it might, okay, it may take up to 40 hours to take effect. But in my experience, it was a very, it's a very, it was very fast. Only after a few seconds, it was connected. So let's see if that's the case. I got it. Let me connect my domain. All right. So you could also activate the SSL. So you go to more options and then click on this. Activate SSL. Uh, it can take up to two hours. So basically, an SSL is uh, having this HTTPS. So it's it's a secured site. All right, so now let's connect the subdomain. Um, you go here to more options and then connect domain. So since we already connected the wildlifenext.com, the main domain, to one of the other funnels, we can now connect unlimited amount of subdomains to any other funnel inside our builder all account. So you can create hundred, a thousand other funnels, and then you use different subdomains for each one of them. So if you don't know what a subdomain is, it's basically uh, you put something in front of the domain dot and then the domain. So for example, wildlifenext.com is a domain. The subdomain could be member.wildlifenext.com uh, demo.wildlifenext.com training.wildlifenext.com So you get the idea. Go do the same thing. Okay, let's name this one as member for instance. member.wildlifenext.com and remember CDN all regions Save. If your domain is an external name server, point the subdomain. Alright, so you don't need to do this anymore because you already did it for the main domain. Alright, so that's pretty much it. So after that, you can also connect your SSL, activate SSL, you can publish it. Um, uh, you don't need to change the region, so you just keep it as CDN. You can duplicate it, you can edit category. So after you've connected the domain, you could also edit the funnel. So let's click on edit. All right, so now that you've connected your domain, your subdomains, you can configure your funnels. You can edit them as much as you like. So um, you can change the layouts. You can add text. You could add image pop-ups. So for email marketing, you could put, uh, let's say you put this button. And they will, it will show a pop-up for your customers to enter the email addresses, their first name. Uh, you can put text, you can put banners, banners like this, audio and video, images, you can put galleries, you can put your social media icons, contact. You could optimize them to mobile, uh, tablet or desktop. Alright, so that's everything you need to know about how to connect your domain inside Builderall and create unlimited subdomains. So if you're interested to join my Builder or Business Heroes team, there's a link down below. And if, you, if you're if you interested in using Builder all, I also have another link for a 7-day free trial. So I am Next. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.